The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today we'll be testing the 300 horsepower Mercury Verado that can be rigged for everything from large pontoon boats to bass boats to hard running offshore fishing machines. Let's start with a look at the features. The most distinguishing aspect of the 300 horsepower Verado 4 stroke is its supercharger working in conjunction with the intercooler to deliver optimal performance. Air comes in through the intake, goes down through the throttle body, is directed into the supercharger, which pressurizes it, making it hotter. So then, into the intercooler, which cools the air. Because cool air is more dense than hot air, it delivers more oxygen to the combustion chamber. The 300 Verado also has a 70 amp belt driven on demand alternator, an attractive feature to boats that have a whole series of batteries and electronics constantly needing power. Service items like this oil dipstick will all be covered yellow. To the outside of the lower cowl, there's a trailer trim tilt switch and a freshwater flush out connection to attach the garden hose to. Take a look at these letters here. AMS stands for Advanced Midsection, and it's a series of four progressive motor mounts. Normally, mounts are sitting like this. Well, Mercury turns them and redesigned the whole mount to provide a softer mount at idle and stiffer at higher RPMs, which significantly reduces engine vibration by up to 50%, according to Mercury engineers. The midsection also has its own jack plate, which mounts the motor away from the transom to give quicker planing times and smoother top-end performance. The midsection houses the 8.2-quart oil sump that includes this pickup that works whenever the crank is turning. The gear case on the Pro 4-stroke version uses a 4.8-inch diameter bullet for better hydrodynamics and performance, and it in turn utilizes both low-speed water intakes to the front and high-speed water intakes to the sides. This unit presents less drag, so it can go faster, which is ideal for freshwater fishing and pontoon boats. Now this version has the beefier 5.44-inch bullet with a thicker shaft, more robust gears, and heavy-duty bearings. The stronger 5.44 version is designed for offshore work, where the boat will be jumping out of the water and slamming back down into it, which is tough on normal size gears. It's ideal for center consoles, walk-arounds, and express boats. On 150 horsepower and larger engines, Mercury uses seawater to cool the oil and maintain the optimum temperature. Notice that the oil filter is upside down, so when changing filters, there's less mess. The water fuel separator traps any water in the fuel and sends a signal to the helm alerting the need for a filter change. The 300 utilizes a high torque starter with a gear reduction unit, and Mercury paints the starter with a melamine coating to reduce corrosion. Now, let's get on the water and see how it performs. We tested this engine on a tournament rig Nitro ZV21 with a dry weight of 2,900 pounds. With 40 gallons of fuel, two people, and the 647 pound engine, we had a test weight of approximately 4,685 pounds. Turning a 15 and a quarter by 22 four blade stainless steel prop, we reached the top speed at 6,100 RPM at 56.9 miles per hour. At that speed, we were burning 29.8 gallons per hour, giving a range of 110 miles. Best Cruise came in at 3,000 RPM at 23.9 miles per hour. That lowered the fuel burn to 6.2 gallons per hour, increasing the range to 222 miles, or an endurance of 9 hours and 18 minutes. Because of the offset of the advanced midsection, we had a time to plane of only 4 seconds. Acceleration was brisk and we reached 20 miles per hour in 7 seconds, 30 miles per hour in 9.8 seconds, and continued accelerating through 40 miles per hour in 13.7 seconds. With this engine offering two different gear cases, the Standard and the Pro, it makes a difficult decision, but for me, I'd always opt for the Standard gear case with its beefier 5.44 inch gear case and increased durability over the perhaps 1 to 2 mile speed advantage with the smaller Pro 4.8 inch gear case, but that's just a personal opinion. I found no fishing for nailing any of the target RPM settings, and from the mid-range speed, hitting the throttle showed no lag time. With the drive it like you stole it mentality of a test boat captain, this outboard showed no increase in heat buildup or any signs of strain during the test. She backs solidly and gives a definite thunk into gear so there's no guessing if it's actually engaged. With a 120 degree turning radius, the boat was maneuverable in both forward and reverse. Hard turns with the helm in the cruise position caused ventilation, but lowering the trim first eliminated it. And the standard hydraulic steering is sure to be a huge selling feature, especially with the offshore crowds making long runs in heavy seas. It's hard to tell which factor of the Verado 300 was most appealing. The robust gear case, the reduced vibration and hole shot of the advanced midsection, the power steering, or the effortless digital throttle control. For most, the question doesn't need to be answered. The combination speaks for itself. 
That's my full test and performance review of the 300 Verado from Mercury. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.